in your health the tremendous task of informing and alerting the American people. Hi folks, this is the Leaflet Part 1 video tutorial for the GISC. Uh, I've got my text editor, I'm using Sublime Text here. Uh, so the first thing is we're going to be using two files here. The first file uh, we'll save in the directory we're going to be working from, which in my case is going to be the Leaflet Video Tut Part 1. Uh, I'm going to name this index.html. The second file uh, we'll save again in the same directory, and we'll save it as style.css so we can style our map appropriately. Uh, from here, we're going to be requiring the files from Leaflet's uh, own website. So we'll go to the download page, and once you downloaded it, you can uh, put it in your directory, and it'll be labeled as such. I'm going to rename it uh, just to Leaflet to make it easier. So now you can see we have our index and our style.css and, and Leaflet all in the same folder. Now that we've got all of our stuff uh, made, we got to start linking it all together. Uh, you'll see that I've got this uh, pretty simple HTML boilerplate set up on the index now. Um, we're going to have to go through the leaflet folder that we put in there and understand where our files are coming from in order to link everything correctly, uh, the CSS and the JavaScript. So the first things first, uh, we got to link the style sheet that we made, uh, style.css. So we'll go through the simple HTML link tags here. Uh, make sure that you type text slash CSS. And then we're going to be just linking straight from the folder that we put in style.css. Next, we're going to have to make sure that we're working across all browsers, and we'll have to put the uh, Internet Explorer if statements in there. So it should read that if we need it. Uh, the second link that we need to do is going to be the CSS sheet uh, directly from Leaflet. Uh, remember, we need to reference it the way we set up our folders. So the first folder it's in is the Leaflet folder. The subfolder there is the DIST folder, and then within that, within that we're linking leaflet.css. So we'll close that tag, and in order again for Internet Explorer to work, we're going to have to link to the Internet Explorer CSS sheet, as you can see right there. The next step is uh, making sure the script for Leaflet is coming in correctly. Uh, so we need to show its source, and it's within the same folders. So Leaflet, DIST, and then it's going to be leaflet.js. Make sure you close your script tags there. And then we're just going to create a simple script tag here that we'll use in a little bit. Uh, so I'll just open it and close it for now, and worry about that in a little bit. So next we're going to go into our style, our CSS sheet, and make sure that we're linking everything correctly. We want to make a, an ID called map. And it's going to be a pretty simple uh, CSS style. We'll just do display block. And then we'll do our mar set our margins. We'll just I'm just going to list them all out here, uh, just so everyone understands what's happening. Margin top, we'll give it a little. 10 pixels from the top, and we're going to give it a set height, uh, nothing super dynamic here, and we'll give it 100% width so it fills up the entire page. Um, I suppose we need to set the margin to zero on the body so the, it goes directly there all the way to the edge. And then for testing purposes, let's just uh, give it a background color and so we can see it working in our browser. Uh, we'll just set it as black. So we got to save each of these files. Uh, remember to save your index as well. And we'll go check out the uh, file itself. So I'm going to hit refresh here. Um, oh, of course it doesn't work because we didn't go into our index and actually add the div. So we'll do a div and get it the ID uh, map, how we named it previously. So we'll close that tag. Go save it, 
go back to our uh, Internet Explorer, or excuse me, Firefox, and refresh, and you've got your div there. So the next part we're going to work on is the script tags that we made, uh, the empty script. Um, what I like to do with Leaflet, at least right now, is uh, just make sure everything's loading once the window or once the window page loads. So we're going to start it off with the whole window dot onload and give it just the ambiguous function. Um, and everything that we're going to be doing is going to go within this window dot onload function. So give it the brackets there. As I said, everything is going to go in here. First thing we're going to want to do with Leaflet is uh, kind of understand how to bring in the map, how to give it the right variables, how to set the base map itself. Um, this is all available on Leaflet's website. Uh, if you go to their tutorials, their quick start guide lists it up pretty well, but this theirs is when you're linking straight to their online CSS and JavaScript sources. Uh, we want to do it based on our computer, uh, the home platform. So we're going to start just with the variable map, uh, we'll call it, which makes sense because it is a map. And that's going to equal L. Uh, L is just a leaflet-based uh, function starter, and then map is within map as well. Um, we need to give it map the ID, which is the ID that we created in the CSS. And then there's a bunch of different options you can put here. We'll put uh, give it the center, and these are just the coordinates. Uh, we'll say 30, 0, just to give us a nice geographically centered world. And then we'll set a zoom level to 2, just so we have a nice view. And make sure to close your bracket there. And then the second thing we need to add, second and last thing, actually, just for setting up the base map, uh, we're going to do the leaflet L function again. And then we do tile layer, and you make sure, oops, got to capitalize layer there. Um, open these brackets, and there's a few things that go inside of this that uh, requires you to go to one of to CloudMade, which is Leaflet's um, parent organization, um, which you can see they're just a sub subcategory of CloudMade. So we'll go there. Make sure you have a, a an account set up. I'm going to run into my account here. Uh, it's pretty easy to set up and start. And what you're going to want to do is get an API key. As you can see here, I've got a couple set up here. Uh, one I just use for uh, practice purposes, one I use for actually putting stuff online. And the API key is listed right here. Uh, second number you're going to need is a map style ID. Um, so you'll be able to find this ID when you go into the maps once you actually style your base map. Uh, so let's when you go to share, you can check out where the ID is. Go share here and grab an ID. If we're going to use this one, we'll grab it. Uh, I'm not going to use this ID right now, but that's where you can find it. So we'll go back to our code here and we'll put the correct information in. Uh, so you got a link directly from Leaflet's website. That's just why you got to, uh, or CloudMate's website, which is why you got to start your own your own user information. I'm just going to copy and paste this whole line in there, and you can see it goes right to their tile server. Um, and you can see the HTTP stuff right there, and then this number is that API key number that I originally signed up for, and then the second number is your map style uh, ID. These last numbers all reference the different tiles that are being loaded at specific times with your map. Uh, after that, we've got to add, uh, there's more things you can add here, but we'll just give the map a little attribution call it the GISC video tutorial web mapping 1.1 is the first one part one and after that uh, that's all you need to add to the tile layer but you know make sure that the tile layer is being added to our variable map so we'll quick do an add to map uh, map right there that's going to be our variable and that should give the tile attribution to the variable and stuff should load there. Make sure you're saving your files. And this is all you need uh, just for a base map. So we're going to go back and I'll refresh our page and you can see that the map loads. Uh, pretty simple one. This is just a map I've styled pretty quickly. You can style it in many different ways, different zoom levels and everything. Uh, but it's all pretty, pretty easily set up and ready to go. Thanks for listening, and 
make sure to check out part two when it comes out. We'll talk about how you can add your own data, and then we'll go even further into styling and all that jazz.